Okay guys, today we're gonna make a homemade do-it-yourself sprinkler frog. This is the new latest craze on frog fishing. They're hard to get, they're always sold out. I'm gonna show you how to make one. This is the stuff that we're gonna start with. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on this and some of them are really clunky, kind of gimmicky. I've come up with a way that's a very smooth, simple way to make this. It looks good, it swims good, I've tested it. it sounds pretty close to the smaller Whopper Plopper, not the big one. But the smaller one so i'm going to show you the best parts to use and the simplest way to make this so first what you're going to need are the large cps from owner these are the centering pin springs then you're going to need a frog now if you're going to buy a frog to make a sprinkler frog out of i would recommend the spro shad series because it has the holes directly out the back versus the one that has them split out the side okay so with the ones out the back you're going to end up using the bottom hole i'll show you how to how to modify one of these after a while but this is the kind of frog if you're gonna buy one, if you already have a bunch of frogs that are old, have old legs and you wanna convert them, no problem, we'll do that one too. Next, you need a good ball bearing swivel. I've taken the split rings out because I want the shortest possible profile back here. I don't want anything too clunky, too gimmicky, or sticking too far back. I took the, the split rings out, and so I have just the ball bearing swivel here. Then I've taken one of the centering pin springs out, and then you're gonna want a paper clip, a swim bait for your trailer. I've tested various swim baits. The one that I think works the best, it gives you the most plopping sound, is the Gambler swim bait. And I'll show you how we're gonna cut that. So there's the springs that I bought, or the barrel swivels that I bought, a razor blade to cut the swim bait, and then we'll get started. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get a paper clip. So I open the paper clip up, I pick the big side, and the little hole where your split ring came out of, I'm just gonna stick that right through there, okay? Then I'm going to cut the rest of this off, okay? Cut it off just like that. Now what I wanna do is I wanna hold the paper clip and I wanna start twisting. I wanna get a nice good twist on there. You wanna leave it big enough loop at here, back here in the back, you a big enough loop so that your swivel isn't pinched. Nice good movement there, okay? So then once you fold that over, I'll give it a good couple, two or three twists, probably two at the most, like so, okay? You see I still have a nice, pretty good sized loop there. Now. I want to pinch these two back together just a little bit. Sometimes you can use your needle nose pliers and pinch them back together. And then I'm going to stick them through the bottom of the two holes. What I found with the way these swim, and I'll explain this now, what I found is if your hole is too high on the frog where your swim bait is, the swim bait just flaps on the surface. If you get it down lower where the angle's lower, it rides up and then it starts spinning and it gives you that whopper plopper type sound that everybody's looking for. So now that I have this paper clip here, I pinch it together and I stick it through the bottom hole. And now you're basically going to use your hands to kind of feel where that pin is, where the tip of that paper clip is, and then you're going to bend it over. So I just take it and bend it that way, and then I bend it this way, and we're all set. So inside the frog, this is bent. You can't see inside the frog, but it basically opens up like that, and you can even do it a little bit more. You don't want to cut the angle of your, your paper clip. You actually don't want to cut it too long, because then when you start to, to open it up, it'll start trying to poke out the side. So you just want a small amount in there. And again, I just feel in there. I can feel I'm bent over pretty good. I just bend that swivel to the side, bend that one to the side, and we're good. Now, you can see that swivel just moves freely on there. The next thing you wanna do, this is real simple. No split rings, again, I just take that centering pin spring and I just spiral it right on that swivel all the way up like that. So now you have a perfectly good swivel. It's nice and short and compact. And now you can take your swim bait and screw it right up on that screw lock. Like I said, what I really like are the Gambler swim baits. They seem to have the best action. The best perfect place to cut it is actually right where the joint is. So I take a razor blade, just pop it down like that. Grab my spring lock centering pin here, screw it right up on there all the way up and you're good to go. Look at that, the perfect sprinkler frog. Perfectly designed, perfectly engineered, not gimmicky, easy to replace these. You will, on occasion, if a small fish grabs the tail and you set the hook real hard, it is possible to rip this out. So what I do is I have some of these pre-made with the, with the paper clip in my tackle box and if I need to replace a tail, I can just pop it in there and bend it open with my hands. There you go, perfectly designed. Okay, next we're gonna cover if you have a frog that has legs out the back or out the sides instead of down the bottom. So I get a pair of scissors and I cut these off pretty close. I leave a little bit there. Get a frog just like that. Okay, the next thing we wanna do, if you're gonna use a standard frog, cut the legs real tight, like we said, and then take a nail and poke in towards the bottom all the way into the frog like that. Pull it out, that just gives us the hole so that we can do our paper clip trick. Okay guys, so now that you got the little nail hole through the frog, just take your paper clip, stick it down through there, right into the inside of the frog, and then reach in there with your finger and feel for the paper clip and push it over, just like that. Last minute trick I'll show you here. 
when I do the paper clip, I cut one end just a little bit longer than the other. That way when it's twisted up inside there, I can feel the long one. Otherwise you're just bending both of them, which would probably work okay. I prefer to split them apart like that. And that's how you make a do-it-yourself sprinkler frog.